Hello again, um, this is part three of the Icon um, false proof tutorial, I'm getting confused. Um, so let's just go over a player detection really quick. Um, so this is just uh, entity detection right here, and this is MC0271. It's a self. Um, well, I want to go over something really quick. Um, there are different types of ICs. There are self-activated, so uh, see let's really quick what it's called. Um, it's called self-triggered and non-self-triggered. Now, as seen in the tutorial before, these water detectors and lava detector, um, those are self-triggered. Like, what I mean by that is it'll detect the lava or water on its own. But the there are non-self-triggered detectors, like um, you put the water on top of the in the detection area, like I put the lava where this block was, and it detected. But it would not do that automatically. You'd have to run redstone current into the sign, then it would detect, then emit the current if it's detecting lava or water. Now I just want to go over that really quick because we're going over self detect. I mean, um, self. See, uh, self triggered blocks right now. Um, later on, over there, in this area, there, these are the. That's a water and lava detector, but those are not self triggered. As you can see, there's a. Uh, a lever that uh, tells it to check. The same exact setup, except without the. Um, resistant lever. Uh, we'll we'll just go over that later. Just wanted to hopefully separate those seeing those two things. So this block does. I'm sorry for the rain. Um, but um, this detection does is it's MC zero two seven one. It has a radius of three, and it detects is, and it detects any living entity. So as you can see, I'm in the area. I'm not. Then I'm in the area. It detects it again. So now if I Spawn mob chicken. Ah, spawn mob. How about pig? That's how you this spell. Then it detects the pig. But then once the pig leaves the area, it will stop detecting. So now this is player and group detection. Um, it's MC0272, which is just one more than MC0271. Um, it has a radius of 2. As you can see, the lever going down enough. Um, but to specify a group that you want to, det you want to detect, um, this is the group of admin. So if I close, because I'm an admin, it'll uh, trigger the thing. It'll trigger it. And when I get away, it does it. Cuts the current off. And this is player detection, which is the same thing as group detection, except group detection has a lowercase g, then a colon, then the group name, but player detection has a lowercase p, a colon, then the player name. Now, as you can see, my full name is Michael Mitchell in the game, but in this, it did not fit on the sign. It's alright. It will fit partial names. So if I just put M, I believe it would just detect anyone with an M in their name. So if I walk close, it'll detect me and it'll trigger the current. Now this is a clock. I believe it emits current every second or so. And compared to the uh, the one bit thing, random one bit, the random bit thing, whatever it was. And the second tutorial, well, the first tutorial of ICs. Um, so this just emits current at equal times instead of random times. So then, <laughs> all right, sorry about that. Uh, a player messaged me with possible private information about his team, but um, <laughs> uh, so yeah. Um, I forget what this does, but we'll see in a second. What this does... Um, oh, it's an inverter, I think, yeah. So it's just an inverter. If power goes to it, the power coming out comes off. If power does not go to it, the power going out of it comes on. So this is a rising toggle. That means that when I 
I supply energy to it. Oh, right, right, right. Good. Um, when I supply power to it, it'll produce power out, and it, it's a toggle. So the first time I supply power to it, it supplies power out. Second time I put a power boost to it, it stops the power. So then if I supply power to it, um, um, it turns on. When I turn this off, it's still on. When I turn it back on again, it's off. Now this is a falling toggle, which is the same thing almost, except um, it looks the same, but it works on once the power goes in. It doesn't activate, but once the power that's going in turns off, then it activates. So it's better seen with using a lever, with the use of a lever. So I put this down. The power is going in. I turn it off. The power is on. Put the power in. It doesn't go off. But when I turn the power off, the thing goes off. Um. So let's see. I guess that's enough for this episode. I think I explained enough. Um. I'll get work on the other episode, the third episode now, so I'll see you in just a few seconds, I guess. Well, a few seconds for me, a few minutes for you, maybe an hour or so, I don't know yet, depending on how fast I release these episodes. But yes, goodbye for now. Um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, explanation, whatever it is. Um, I'll see you in a bit, I guess. Bye.